Whoa! Raji! Raji! <laughs> Shall I hide this in the boot? Yeah. How are you doing? Look at that, Ruff! Here we are, boys. Really Here nice. we are. Louise came and picked us up in a different car because he just loves showing off and stuff. And yeah. I'm not showing off the car because you can't see which car it is. Driving and abiding by the law and stuff like that. Always. But we are, I'm absolutely starving. It's about one o'clock. You fasted, haven't you? We're both in a fasted state both, right now. We're both intermittent fasting because, yeah, you know, bringing a little bit of fitness to the channel because we're trying to be good before tonight. Louis's got a bit of a dilemma. What's a dilemma? His hair from last time. It has changed slightly, but this time it's actually fallen out a little bit. Like, no, no, no. Watch, watch this. Ready? So you just pull from here. And <laughs> yeah. that's so bad. That's my hair. If anybody know. has any hair advice on what the fuck is going wrong with that there. So no, well I bleached it, so yes. it's, it's a bit of a situation, so we're just not gonna try try not worry about it. Yeah. But yeah, let's get some food. Yeah, food. So we've been a bit rash really because we went in with the acai bowl because it came first, but now I feel like that's all deserved for the for the meal. And I've got a Toulouse sausage and some peppers and rocket and all that beautifulness. All that health, all that Look at all that health. Yeah. Yeah. And then Maybe. we've got vegetable soup because we need to get vegetables in just to save our immune system before we get sauced and my hungover is fudge tomorrow morning. I'm gonna stop swearing, so that's why I've said fudge. And I just went for a chicken and cheese healthy sandwich. That is that is amazing. Like last time I had one of them I was in Bali but that is legit unbelievable. Coffee yard. Right so I have been well fed now so I'm happy I'm satisfied. Now the plan is to be basic white boys and go and film in the gym, get some white monsters, crack on, but I'm going to grab a shower first and then try and get some cool photos because we're going on a romantic walk to try and get some shots and then after that we will pick up doing something cool. I don't know what it's going to be but we're going to try and think of a topic of this video as well. This is quite possibly one of the best noises in the world if you do it right. Oh, and that was not right. Oh, money shot. That was good. Money shot. Right, so me and Louie have calmed down a little bit. We're on where run our romantic walk. And I've actually thought of a topic of the video because I've had quite a lot of messages and obviously I've put it out on Instagram. And people have pretty much been asking a lot of how I stay in shape while on the go or on the road and eating out and stuff like that. So I'm going to give you some training and some nutrition tips, maybe like five or six key key tips that are going to help you stay in shape while you're on the go. Um, I'm definitely not in the peak condition that I could be if I was at home and settled and in my own gym training 24-7. But I would say that I'm not really too far off considering the circumstances like if I'm in a nightclub every night and I'm traveling everywhere around the UK and I can still stay in reasonable shape there's no reason you can if you just travel or you've got to get one meal out a week or something like that you can do the same to increase your output is just by staying active and making sure your steps are as high as possible. Now, not every time when I'm trying to do this, it looks as pretty as this, but genuine, genuine, generally, when I'm walking around and when I'm doing tasks, whether if I know that I've been sat in a car or sat in the computer for a long period of time, I sat on a train, I'll try and make sure that whatever I do next, I'm trying to get my steps up as much as possible. So I'll take the stairs, I'll walk around, I'll go for a walk. I'll pretty much just try and build up my steps so they're above 10,000 at least, if not more. <laughs> How did you find out Adam was here? Her Instagram. <laughs> because he tagged it on the location. He tagged the location. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're gonna go and hit a quick gym session. I've got a PA tonight, so it's not gonna be a mad one. But what I always say is, if you can manage to get yourself into the gym, it's it's a start. Getting through the door and getting something done is better than nothing because again, it's gonna increase your expenditure 
burn a lot of calories and you're gonna feel good so whether it's a 30 minute hit session whether it's walking on the treadmill whether I have enough time to do like an hour and a half and actually lift some weights anything is better than nothing so on the go just make sure you're moving at some point and get a workout in yeah. Let's go. I'm unstoppable. Yeah. Do the impossible. Right. I'm irresponsible. Oh. Yeah, I'm phenomenal. Yeah. I got an arsenal. Oh, yeah. I'm dropping bombs, you know. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not stopping, no. Let's go. Conquer yeah. the obstacle. Yeah. Let's to go. the top, here I go, think I'm chosen. Yeah. To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken. I can hear the tick tock of the clock, I'm in motion. So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable. Yeah. Ready to go, man, lock and load. That's right. I swear to God that I could drop you, bro. Yeah. I got a shot and I ain't stopping, though. That's how I know that I'm unstoppable. So when you are on the go, when you're on the move and when you're training, like me, I might only have 40, 45 minutes, 50 minutes tops to hit a workout, to fit a workout in with a busy schedule. You might be the same. Now what I do to compensate that is I might drop the weights a little bit to what I was pre-Love Island or what I would normally do if I had a lot more time on my hands. But the reason I do that is to keep the rest periods as short as possible and keep the workout as intense as possible, okay? The, what I want to do is I want to burn the most calories possible in that short space of time because I haven't got as much time to give and that is another tip that I would give you if you are training when you want to go. Workout done. How do you feel? So, short and sweet, but that's why I upped the intensity. Now, that there was 20 cals, a salt bike, sprint, and 10 burpees, as fast as you can, with a one minute rest in between, three rounds. Now, normally, I might only do maybe 10 calories, 10 burpees on the floor, but I would do that for like five, six, seven, eight rounds. But as I'm short on time, I'm trying to make it work, Trying to keep the intensity high and do the best I can with the time I've got. Uh, that's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Do what you can. We're going to Nando's. I'm gonna show you what I eat when I'm on the go and I'm trying to be a little bit healthier because I am supposed to be going away in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna show you what I have. That's it, basically. We've picked up Francis, Louis's better half. He has shaved. <laughs> little Irish. So let's go. We've got a little bit of a treat here, but it's still within my daily calories for the day. So another tip, Nando's is a good shout, and I pretty much know the macros and the calories off by heart. This is about 900, so if I've got to be really strict, I would ditch the chips for super grains. But post-workout, it is what it is. Probably my last meal for the night, and I haven't really, haven't really consumed that much for the day. My calories are obviously quite high because my output is also sky high, but again, try and pick restaurants. Quite a lot of them, like Nando's, Wagamama, as you sushi, all of that have stuff on my fitness pal now. Chain restaurants. Chain restaurants. So all the big chains will have the macros and the calories on. So it's pretty easy to track. So you can have chips and still get away with it. Tips on the go. 
Are you sure that's the right room, bud? There, go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, jeez. 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 All right, that. That is decent. Right, so we are in the hotel now, changed, ready for a PA, I've had my Nando's, came back, not really craving anything, but another tip that I wanna give you is fasting. Intermittent fasting or fasting in general. If you can just delay when you start eating your meals for the day to, even if it's a couple hours, it could be 11 o'clock, could be 12 o'clock, could be one o'clock, whatever that is. If you can delay the first meal and then start your eating between a shorter window, it's gonna allow you to consume all of your daily calories within that window. So say you are cutting your eating window and your food window down to 12 till nine. During the day, hypothetically, if you are on 2000 calories, spreading that out between nine hours instead of like 12 to 14 hours, it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier for you. And you're probably gonna be able to have a lot more fun and satisfying foods. Like you can fit in little treats and cravings because you've only got to last nine hours in your food window and then you do it again the next day. And it's very, very easy once you get used to it. Now, this is what I do. Obviously, you've seen what I've had today. My calories are a lot higher than most people. My maintenance level is like 3,400 calories or something ridiculous like that. 3,300 to 400, give or take, depending on what my output is. Now, I've got a holiday coming up, so I've dropped mine down at about 2,900 calories. And I can actually lose weight on this, whereas most people would actually gain or maintain weight on this. So obviously the food that I eat is gonna be a lot higher than you. And this is because of my build, how much I weigh, my gender, my age, and my daily output is a lot higher than a lot of people. And I can just generally train harder. The more muscle you hold, the more calories you're gonna burn. So obviously I never started at this point a few years ago, but this is where I'm at now. So it's unrealistic for you to eat the same as me, but what you can do is implement the same principles as me for you to manipulate your diet to suit your goals. And you can make progress just like me. My final point for how to stay on track or how to make progress when you're on the go and on the move is your service station or supermarket go-tos. Basically what you choose and trying to be clever when you walk into a service station, you walk into a supermarket and there's not a lot of options. Now, to satisfy hunger, you've got stuff like sparkling water, black coffee, sugar-free soft drinks and sugar-free energy drinks. This is gonna curb your hunger, especially if it's the fact of you just don't wanna eat junk food. This is gonna help you a lot. Another thing is, most of the time when you go to these places, like you've seen me and Louie at this cafe, it was a pretty carb-heavy meal, like the bagel, the soup. It's all the acai bowl, acai bowl, whatever it is. I acai. mean, acai. It's carb-heavy, so you're gonna have to supplement that with protein somewhere. Most of these service stations, now have like grenade protein bars, fulfill barbell bars. protein bars, fulfill bars, PhD bars. They're pretty good. General protein bars, you're gonna have to use something like that or go into your Sainsbury's and your Tesco's and get in the packeted chicken breast just to try and get your protein intake up because most foods are bad, not because they are bad or dirty or anything like that. They're very carb and fat heavy and they've got next to little no protein. So if you can get your calories in through protein sources and hit a gram per pound of body weight, it's gonna set you up for good foundations when you wanna make progress and stay lean. Now, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's helped. And any ideas of what you want to see next, just comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.